Queen Camilla has been described as very self-contained by a close acquaintance. Broadcaster Giles Brandreth, who has known the consort of King Charles III since her school days, opened up on how Camilla is behind closed doors with biographer Angela Levin. In an abridged extract from Ms. Levin's upcoming book Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, From Outcast to Queen Consort, Mr. Brandreth said, she never complains in public and is very self-contained. The Queen Consort, the broadcaster added in the extract published by the Daily Telegraph, deems of particular importance her family, including her ex-husband. He told Ms. Levin, her family is key to her, especially her sister, Annabelle, her former husband, Andrew Parker Bowles, and her children, Tom and Laura. Camilla, who experienced huge criticism for her relationship with then Prince Charles in the 1990s, has gained growing affection from the public since 2005, when she joined the royal family by marriage. Camilla never complains in public according to Giles Brandreth, image, Getty, Camilla became the Queen Consort on September 8, image, Getty, upon her union with Charles, Camilla decided not to use the title of Princess of Wales out of respect of late Princess Diana. Rather, she became known as the Duchess of Cornwall and, as a working royal, became increasingly outspoken on issues close to her hearts, including protecting victims of domestic violence and literacy. While her prominence grew, Camilla remained the same, according to people who have known her for years. Amanda McManus, who worked as Camilla's aide for more than two decades, told Ms. Levin, her work ethic may have changed, but, she hasn't at all as a person. Read more, public backs King Charles III over slimmed down monarchy, poll Camilla with broadcaster Giles Brandreth, image, Getty, one of the nice things is that her position hasn't gone to her head. Camilla became Queen Consort on September 8, following the death of Queen Elizabeth II and the accession to the throne of her husband. In 2005, Charles' office said his spouse intended to adopt the title of Prince's Consort rather than Queen. While Clarence House never issued a different statement on Camilla's title, speculation Camilla would be known as Queen Consort swirled over the years. Don't miss Prince George and Princess Charlotte emotional maturity questioned, insight royal fans fume as Prince Harry placed in second row, report Harry and Meghan need to return to royal life, claims expert, expert, the Queen expressed her wish for Camilla to become Queen Consort during Charles' reign, image, Getty, Camilla paid a hair-felt tribute to the late Queen in a televised appearance, image, Getty. The late Queen Elizabeth II put an end to it on February 5, when she issued a statement to mark the 70th anniversary of her accession to the throne. In it, the late monarch stressed how important the supporting role of the royal consorts is and expressed her wish for Camilla to become known as Queen Consort after the end of her reign. She wrote, when, in the fullness of time, my son Charles becomes king, I know you will give him and his wife Camilla the same support that you have given me, and it is my sincere wish that, when that time comes, Camilla will be known as Queen Consort as she continues her own loyal service. The Queen's affection for Camilla was surely reciprocated, as demonstrated by the heartfelt tribute the Queen Consort paid to the late 96-year-old last week. King Charles and Camilla met in the 1970s, image, express, speaking to the BBC about the late sovereign, Camilla said, she's got those wonderful blue eyes that when she smiles, you know, they light up her whole face. I'll always remember that smile, you know, that smile is unforgettable. She has been part of our lives forever. Camilla also recalled how the Queen was the happiest at Balmoral as she could spend a more relaxed time with her family while continuing to carry out her daily duties as head of state. The Queen Consort said, when she went up to Scotland in August, you know that was the moment where it was her enjoyment. 
Camilla and King Charles got married in April 2005, image, Getty, although, she was probably working, you know with her red boxes throughout, she could have her family to stay, she could do the things she loved. The day after the funeral and burial of the late Queen, Charles and Camilla followed in the late monarch's footsteps and headed to Scotland for a few days of rest after keeping up with a grueling schedule and their grief for 11 days. A source told The Sun, Balmoral is a place where the king can see his family and at the same time read his red government boxes. It is a place where he can recuperate and get on with state business. This is exactly what the Queen Consort said Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II liked to do when she gave her tribute, 